Hey y'all, welcome back to my shop. I'm just in here making some uh, new threaded boxes with my new Easy Threading uh, Jig Pro XL. Uh, this is an upgraded version of the one that I, uh, I was using in that last video uh, I did back in May on uh, threading jig for wooden, wooden threads. And you can see the older version in operation. But I wanted to show you this new version. Uh, right now, um, Bonnie Klein is no longer selling threading jigs. So, best of my knowledge, the only other, the only two commercially available threading jigs on the marketplace now is this one from uh, Chefware Kits and the Baxter uh, Baxter threading jig. So. I want to take you through the features of, of this. If you haven't seen that other video, uh, here's the link. You might want to go back and look at that one on, on uh, using, a, using a threading jig. Okay, picture's worth a thousand words, so let me just walk you through the two, two features uh, side by side. First, starting with the nose piece, the part that Chuck goes on. Essentially, this, they're, they're, they're very similar. Uh, this case is a one and a quarter by eight, and when you buy it, you, you get the uh, nose piece to fit your particular uh, chuck. Uh, I like the one on the newer one. Instead of being knurled, it's got a hole in it that you could put a like a tommy bar or, or a rod in, which makes it real easy to hold on to this while you're unthreading the chuck if the chuck is, is winds up being snug on here. This one, on the other hand, has got this very sharp knurled uh, knurling on it, which if your, if your chuck is really stuck, that's all you got to hold on to is this quarter inch of knurled steel, which is very, very uh, tough on your hand. So I, I like this one better. Uh, the next item is the cross slide mechanism. That's this right here. Just compare the two on the size. Uh, this one is massive. Um, it, it's, it, it, both of them are steel, but this is so much uh, uh, bigger. Uh, it's, it, it's, it'll just hold the lead screw uh, better. Going to the cross slide uh, adjustment mechanism, comparing the knobs, this knob is tiny and when you turn it, um, it's hard on your hands because of that, that, that knurling and it takes a little more pressure. This one turns a lot easier. This one, there's a lot of slop in the mechanism and you have to turn this thing about a third of a revolution before you even start getting the cross slide to move forward to uh, to, to cut those those threads. This one on the other hand is very finely machined. Uh, it's got a larger knob and it just goes click click click. It has a little indent pin in here that clicks when you turn it um, uh, with, a, with a marker here. Uh, so this is easier, uh, much easier to to use. The cross slide lock, you know, you first you loosen the lock to make this adjustment and then when you make the adjustment you tighten it. This is the hardest thing to turn uh, because it's really cranked down uh, tight. This tiny little knob is real tough on your hands. The newer one has a ratchet knob, which is just off the shelf, which is just so much easier to, to use. Uh, it's easy on your hands. You've got more leverage on it. So I don't know why they didn't come up with this to begin with because this, this is a great idea. Uh, the feed screw uh, mechanism, this one used a uh, millimeter. Um, not a real, not a real big, big difference on on that. Uh, the spindle hand wheel. Let me get a little slightly different view here. Let me turn it that way. This one is again knurled aluminum. The old one, a lot smaller. This one is easier. <coughs> Excuse me. It's large aluminum, uh, much easier to grasp. It doesn't have the knurling on it, but you don't really need it because this thing's so finely machined, it, it turns very easily. But the key is having a larger knob to grab, grab hold of. Uh, that's the spindle hand wheel. Now, most threading jigs are going to have, unless they're perfectly machined, they're going to have some play, and the, and the challenge is getting the play out of them. Uh, this one, there is no mechanism to get that, uh, get that play out. And, and you can rattle it. You, it's, it's easy to see that there is some play in here. In this particular one, you have a mechanism. Uh, this one is secured with a couple of uh, insert uh, 
screws that you use an Allen wrench to tighten down on and they, they actually uh, go down on these spots right here. Uh, so it, it's a very, very secure uh, mechanism. Th this one also, the, the, the nose piece, this is removable on the older model. It's, it's fixed. Uh, as a result of that, if you buy a, an additional uh, lead screw, you don't have to go to the expense of buying an additional nose piece and um, spindle handle, so they, they're able to keep the cost down. Uh, it comes with a 1 16th uh, threads per inch uh, lead screw, but you can get the uh, 10 threads per inch lead screw as an additional uh, option. They also have an upgrade uh, upgrade path if you if you bought one of the earlier ones you can send it back to them and they'll take as I understand it they'll take this piece right here the lead screw and uh, retrofit it to one of these for uh, uh, an upgrade charge so that might be worth considering the uh, the other item is the bar <coughs> excuse me or rather the post where it mounts into your banjo. This one on the old one is hollow and then you can see it's a, quite a bit smaller here where it mounts onto the body. This one it goes into a one inch hole. <coughs> a one inch hole into the body and then tightens down with a, a set screw uh, with Allen wrench. And this is solid and so it holds it very very securely. You can just see underneath the difference in the size which makes a difference in uh, you know how much play you have, the rigidity of it if you're holding a large piece on there. So uh, those are those are nice nice features. Uh, as before, the threading jig comes with a uh, six degree rotary cutter and a uh, three eighths inch collet that you secure by making your own drawbar out of three eighths inch coarse rod. You can pick that up at big box store, Home Depot, or or Lowe's. Uh, doesn't have to be this fancy. It can be. Here's one for a drill chuck uh, with a quarter inch rod, but it can be as, as uh, simple as just a couple of washers and a, uh, and, a, and a wing nut. In my, my case, I put a rubber grommet on it uh, to keep it from scratching the inside of, or making a noise when I slide it in the back of my head, headstock. Uh, there's instructions on, on Chefware Kit's website on making one of these, and I'll put the link to their... Um, their, their web, website where you can order these things, but making uh, making threads for a project can be a lot of fun. So you know, unless you you want to uh, do the more challenging hand thread chasing, which which can be rewarding and satisfying as well, but it, it takes a much bigger learning curve how to use these. Uh, the threading jig does a, a great job on making threads on your projects with a lot less effort. I hope this was uh, uh, informative for you. Have fun. Safe turning.